Kenilworth Castle, setting for a great historic love affair between Elizabeth I and her court favourite Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester. Now, thanks to the installation of some new viewing platforms, for the first time in 350 years visitors will be able to walk in the Queen's footsteps and share her view of the castle and surrounding countryside. I'm Jeremy Ashby and I'm going to give you a sneak preview of what's been going on inside Leicester's building. Commissioned by Dudley in 1570, the building was designed to provide lavish accommodation for Queen Elizabeth I on one of her many visits to Kenilworth. In July 1575, she enjoyed 19 days of banqueting, hunting parties and pageantry here. Wow! Well, we're inside Leicester's building, but as you can see, it's still full of the builder's scaffolding. But soon you'll be able to stand where Elizabeth stood. So let's go up and see what she saw. The scaffolding and ladders will be replaced by new staircases and viewing platforms in the Queen's apartments and above. Here visitors will be able to play detective by spotting previously unseen Elizabethan features in the walls. We've just come up two floors inside Leicester's building and it's at this level that I think we've got some of the most brilliant evidence for what the building once looked like in its heyday. This big frame behind me would have been filled with the marble of a beautifully carved classical fireplace. I love the pattern of holes up there which tell us there was a very fine plasterwork frieze. The sockets show us the levels of the floors, that this was a superbly tall and impressive room lit by magnificent bay windows. But actually the most important thing about this floor and this room is the door behind me, because this was the door to Elizabeth I's bedroom. Well, this is the level of the highest rooms in Leicester's building. All around us is rough stone walls where once we would have seen beautifully carved wooden panelling. The big hole behind me filled with glass of an enormous bay window and above the open sky where an intricate plastered ceiling. But I think it's in what you see behind me that lies the secret of Leicester's building. Kenilworth Castle is magnificent even in a ruined state but think how much better it would have been when all its buildings were still standing. The grass outside the castle once upon a time would have been the beautiful blue water of an artificial lake. The trees beyond that, the parkland in which Leicester took the Queen out hunting. And I think this is the reason why Leicester went to the expense of building this building, to give Elizabeth a view fit for a Queen. Kenilworth Castle is open all year round. Examples of the original decor can be found in Kenilworth's Gatehouse Museum. Another way to step back in time is to take a stroll through the castle's magnificent Elizabethan garden. 